Say good morning to everybody. Say good morning, everyone. Even though it's almost 11 a.m. What do you think we should do today? Do you want to go to the park? Do you want to make some pancakes? Would you like a delicious treat? Do you want to show them the plant room? Okay, we could do that. Let's go. Okay, so this is the plant room. Um, before I go any further, we need to talk about this situation happening over here. Um, my studio lights have not come in yet because I didn't order them and that's usually what happens when you don't order something, it doesn't come, if you didn't know that. Um, second, the acoustics in here, is that what people say? It's not the greatest. I think there's gonna be a bit of an echo and I'll try to get it sorted in post-production, but for now, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be awful. Um, but I did wanna show you what it looked like before I kind of move things around. So over here, I call this my beat lab. This is my office and my beat laboratory. And this is where I get all my potting done and all my fun stuff, and I film a lot of Instagram stories here. And then on this wall is where I house my exos and overflow plants that don't fit in the family room. I'm not happy with it. <laughs> it's just kind of weird, I guess. Like, first off, these shelves don't even fit the exo sizes and it drives me bonkers. So I don't know if I'm either gonna replace these shelves or just change this whole thing or sell them and then get another one of these. I don't know yet. I really don't know. I'm just kind of filming and seeing what happens. Okay, so this is what I'm thinking. Um, the concept of this video is still kind of jumbled in my head, but if I had to take a guess, I think what I'm gonna do is take out all the plants from the exos and kind of do a very, very quick show and tell of them. I'm not sure how this is gonna be done yet, but I'll do a quick plant tour of all the plants in here. And then once all the plants are out, then I'll kind of reconfigure the layout. Um, not sure what that's gonna be yet, but I'm figuring it out as I go. Um, and then once I get that set up, then I'll put all the plants back in and then I will go through the details of everything. So yeah, I guess let's start.
Okay, it's the next day. Um, today is Friday. And this is the situation we have going. I did film myself moving this around and I had every intention of including it in this video, but my husband wasn't around to help me. Sorry. Um, he wasn't around to help me, so I did do it by myself and I did not do it very safely. So I just don't think that it's a good idea to include that footage in this video. Um, but I'm feeling pretty good about it. I did order another one of these shelves to put in this corner. Um, obviously it's not that size. It, it's gonna fit this XO pretty perfectly. And then I'm gonna pop that XO on top of the shelf. And I think that's what the goal is gonna be. Um, I'm gonna leave this where it is just because I kind of like how it's situated, but I am gonna do a little refresh. Anyway, anyway, that's where we're at. plants are for the most part in um, it's just that corner that hasn't really been touched yet because I'm gonna have to pull that out when the shelf arrives we just have a lot of mess and clutter that I need to get cleaned up don't mind the sound <laughs> it's coming from that closet it's laundry day Friday is laundry day in this house um, but yeah we're getting close I'm still figuring out what I want to do here. I actually might have some art prints made or I might just make them myself that are like plant related. Um, but yeah, that white spot just like bugs me. So anyways, getting close. I am extremely tired. I'm really excited for this project to be over and once it's done, I'm not going to be touching this room for a while.
My ponytail has been dipped in aquarium water more times today than one should. Now, this is about 100 pounds. Oh, it's not that bad. Okay, okay, okay. Honestly, do not do this. Don't do this. I've done this multiple times and that doesn't make it okay. But here we go. See you later. Oh, it's splashing. Oh, it's splashing. Oh, frick, I forgot the stairs. This room has definitely seen better days. Um, I feel like with this whole room refresh, every time I take one step forward, I take like 10 steps back. Um, but the shelf came in and it fits the space pretty perfectly. I decided to move one of the exos that was here um, over here. And then I need to get a custom piece of wood cut for this top so that I can stack this larger exo safely. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna run over to Lowe's later today and I've got, <laughs> I have to paint the wood too because I want it to be black. I don't want it to be brown. So I'm thinking that I'm probably gonna finish this in about two days, fingers crossed. I still don't know what's happening up here. I don't even think that that's gonna happen in this video because I don't wanna, I don't wanna rush it. I do have some ideas, so maybe I'll save that for another video, but for the most part, um, we're getting close. I think we're done. Should we show them the plant room now? Do you wanna roll the before and after montage? Yeah? All right.
far, that means you just sat through about 15 minutes of me running circles around this room. And honestly, I commend you because I almost didn't make it this far and got really close to wanting to just do a part two, but it just seemed really unfair to put you through all of everything you just went through and then not get anything at the end. So here we are. It's not a total transformation, obviously, but I do think it is refreshed. So I'm happy with the way it turned out. There are still a few things that I need to kind of fix and tweak and add, but that's not gonna happen in this video. It's not even gonna happen this week or next week because like I said, I'm kind of over this room for a while. I just need to do something else. And um, yeah, I'm happy with where it's at right now. I don't feel like it needs anything in the immediate future. Um, but I think I did set myself up for um, some fun spring projects. So that'll be, that'll be interesting. Before I ended this video, I did want to quickly just run through some of the details of this setup in case there's any questions. For the lighting, you saw the panels that I've been using and it's the Domia 20 watt light panels and I'm using it throughout the entire thing. Um, the only other light that I have that's not a Domia is this one and I do plan on eventually changing this out because this is giving me very like public bathroom fluorescent vibes and I'm not into it. So um, yeah, I do prefer these Domias because of how warm and just like friendly and inviting they look. I know that this type of uh, light color is not for everyone, but I swear it boosts serotonin in my brain. So I'm probably just gonna grab a few more of those um, or try and find a light that is somewhat the same color that I can maybe hang on the ceiling. Anyway, that's the lighting. Um, as far as the electrical stuff goes, basically I have a hub here, um, just one of those like 12 socket towers um, that connects this power strip and all of those plugs over there that are on timers and this is basically all connected and all of these lights turn on at 8.30 in the morning and turn off at 8.30 at night. Let's talk about exo sizes. Um, this one is 36, 24, 18, meaning it's 36 inches tall, 24 inches wide, and 18 inches deep. The one below it is a 24, 18, 18. This one is the biggest one that they make. This is a 36, 36, 18. And then below it is my 24, 18, 12. To the left is my two 12, 18, 12s, which I'll eventually sell and replace with a larger XO that kind of fits this shelf um, better. I used to use these for rehabs, imports, and propagations, but now that I have other XOs that function um, better than these two, I think it's time to let go of them. Going back to my largest XO, I'm often asked what I'm sitting the XO on top of, and this is actually just part of the Ikea Vitzjo nesting table set. Um, this is the larger table of the two, and it fits almost perfectly, and I say almost because there is a tiny bit of overhang, um, which is why I put duct tape just to prevent any sliding. Um, this is not a permanent solution. I'm still trying to find a way to permanently secure it. So if you have any ideas, I'd love to hear it. But other than that, it works pretty well. And I was even able to add a little propagation area down here. And um, the light that goes on top of this EXO kind of doubles as a heating mat, which is how this one gets nice and toasty. The nesting table came with glass, but obviously I wasn't going to use that. so. I removed the mesh that came with this EXO because it was like rusty and gross um, and I just laid it over top but I'll eventually get a custom top made for it similar to what I have with my um, smaller EXOs. My friends and I found this guy on Facebook marketplace that made these custom acrylic tops and he could pretty much do anything we needed to it so I had some 
air holes drilled into it. Um, since you guys probably noticed, I don't use any fans. And um, if you're not familiar with the Exoterra design, these are made for reptiles, if you didn't know that. They're not made for plants. So the front actually comes with holes in them for airflow. And since I like to keep my XOs anywhere between 80 and 100% humidity um, to prevent things like mildew and mold and fungus, I do think that airflow is very important. So I try and keep these open overnight. And um, when I do get a custom top made, this one will have a good amount of air holes drilled into it. As for the Beat Lab, not much has changed besides the fact it got just a tiny little facelift. Um, I think that I'm eventually going to install some type of water propagation area in this corner. I'm not quite sure what that's going to look like yet, but something I'm thinking about. All right, buddy. I think this is the end. We did it. Is there anything you'd like to say? Mm -hmm. Yes, that's a very, very important point. Would you also like to say thank you for watching and subscribing and to give this video a thumbs up if you like it? What would you like to say to the people that thumbs down our last video? Mm, that's very noble of you. Let's give everybody a high five and a goodbye. High five. Yeah. Bye. Did you? Ew! He butt juiced on me. Oh my gosh.